What is up, everybody? We're back on 20 Minutes Till Dawn, live on stream. What are we gonna do right now? I really like Spark. Maybe we take Spark with dual SMGs and uh, take her to the next level here, Darkness 5. Elites deal double damage. Vampire Survivor's got a couple updates. That's very true. Try to balance everything. So Spark, every shot that that hits kills the shock maybe you know what we should have checked our relics before we started I think we might have some off relics because I think we did a really interesting weird run last time but that's oh, got me to play this game it slaps go high shock here we got double shot i can get behind something like that i think our individual damage is pretty low so light weaponry would be pretty crap power shots maybe i don't know if we're going to necessarily be reliant on our bullet damage like i said we're going to be more reliant probably on our shocks our elemental capabilities here yeah because we're doing like three or five damage per bullet three looks like three Pyro Mage. We can also do Divine Wrath. Lightning for every second our Holy Shield's active. We have a Holy Shield right now. There's a 50% chance to shock. Sarazen, thank you. Reload rate and movement speed by 25 while Holy Shield is active. That's also really good. But maybe let's start early on Elemental. Lighting them on fire could be uh, really, really good. As chat told me time and time again, the fire does stack, so. That's good, especially with this many bullets, that many chances of igniting them. I think that there is a chance, it's like every 50 times we light someone on fire, we get like a, a second of that super high fire rate. Split fire, shoot an additional bullet behind you. Dragon, it's an early dragon, and if we are gonna go elemental, dragon's pretty good with fire. Haste, rapid fire, that would be really, really good. Or bullet speed spread minus. Let's go early dragon. You gotta go early dragon or not dragon at all. IMO. Elites deal double damage, so if we can continue on with taking zero damage from elites, then this will be not so bad. Again, haste, power shot, rapid fire, frost mage. Let's go, frost mage. Chance to freeze enemies in place. If we can get the things where anytime that I freeze them, I also burn them, would be really good. Fire. Burn damage plus ice shard. When shooting your last ammo, you shoot three additional shards at freeze. Um, we could go vitality too if we wanted to try to go with the uh, burn heal. I'm thinking maybe just intense burn for now. Plus 35% burn damage. With this many bullets. Decent chance of lighting them on fire. And burn is going to be really good. Probably our main way of how we're going to kill bosses. Which are our main threat right now. That double damage coming up. Reload rate plus. Pickup range plus. Bullet speed. Glare. All enemies within your vision range take 25 damage every two seconds. Reload rate, movement speed by 25% when our Holy Shield is active. That's pretty good. Getting a little cramped in here. We 
damage. You get the Shock Mage. Enemy is inflicted with Freeze. They lose 15% of their max HP. Did they change that? It used to be more than 15% on Frostbite, didn't it? There's our boss. Bosses only lose 1% every time they're frozen. Oh, man. It is getting crampy Krampus up in here. That wasn't so bad, I guess. Bullet damage minus, but lightning damage plus. Yep, we're not, like I said, not concerned about our bullet damage. Probably just the dragon. We gotta do dragon uh, upgrades right now. Attack speed or damage? I'm gonna go attack speed on that one. Gains attack speed every minute till the end of the game. Because now also uh, there's a beta branch. I saw something about that and there's an endless mode. I wonder how those damage or the, the dragon things are going to stack up on endless mode. I mean, I feel like on a normal run here, my computer slows down after 20 minutes. When you inflict freeze, also inflict burn. That's the one. Because piercing proc lightning twice as fast. I think it's on hit proc, so probably. Dragon's out. Oh, you said no. Well. I don't know that. Age dragon, you just gotta go dragon. I really want Electro Mage, but... Gotta go dragon as quickly as possible if we want to take dragon seriously. We have it, so might as well. It's currently inflicting a lot of burn. Boss number two. I like to freeze on this boss. It gives you like an extra second to react. Every fifth shot, launch a fireball. That one's really, really good. Your bullets deal additional damage equal to 10% of your dragon. We're not concerned about our bullet damage. Unless our dragon, if we could get the dragon's damage up so much so that it actually made like a significant difference. No fire starter here. Because we're shooting two bullets at a time. Every like two or three shots, we're shooting fireballs out. That was good. Bullet damage minus increased burn damage, lightning damage, and freeze duration by 35%. Bullets bounce, put bullet damage down and my max HP down, and fire rate plus, spread plus, bullet damage down, knock back down, triple your max base ammo. I'm honestly think that every single one of these things is gonna be really, really good. Um, I'm tempted to say rage here. Because we're gonna shoot so many more and there's gonna be more lightning coming down. Increasing lightning damage by 35% sounds good. And the burn damage, of course. But I don't know. This could over double the amount of lightning that actually hits, which would be a plus 100%. We're just gonna, just gonna try uh, Tome of Rage here. Oh, the spread's kind of ugly, though. Maybe we try to go for the sniper upgrade and uh, lower that spread, so it's it's less of a whiz shot right now. Reload rate. Holy shield regenerates faster. Bullet damage plus knockback. Vitality plus or ice shard plus. 
Um, Y Shard Plus is one step closer to shatter. Enemies affected by freeze explode when killed. 10% of their max HP doing damage. Um, I shard, I guess. Reload rate could be good, though, because our reload rate is pretty crap. Ranged guys are tough. Especially going to be tough with this stupid spread, like I said, that I got. Shot plus rapid fire and arms a great synergy. Rapid fire. Gotta probably stick with the shatter. Ah, electro mage. We probably need to start our electric build here. Electric. We're doing so much electric damage. Too bad there's not the, uh, the pickup items like there is in Vampire Survivors where you, you grab the one item and then it sucks up all the XP that's on the ground. That'd be so nice for this game. Soothing warmth. Get it. Chance to heal on uh, applying burn. Should we be getting like permanent upgrades to this character? When does that happen? Rapid fire, ghost friend, divine wrath, or take aim bullet, speed plus spread minus. Spread minus, we did want that, didn't we? It still seems pretty bad. Still seems the same. Reload speed plus, so I need it. Definitely need it. Into the belly of the beast. Electro bug, more lightning. Probably rapid fire. Power shot, bullet damage, knockback. Honestly, vitality plus, I think it'd be a smart move. Start racking up some health because we're probably gonna start losing it and then we get that soothing warmth. We'll get it back pretty quickly with this build, just considering the amount of bullets that we're firing. Need to get that quad shot upgrade. Yeah, that'd be nice. I haven't seen it yet though. We need to get the one to, to shoot behind me. Sniper, even less. No, the spread does not change on sniper. It's damage and speed. Reload rate, max ammo, that could be good. 
increases bullet damage and fire rate by 50% when you get hit. I'm gonna go armed and ready. Reload rate. seconds until this wave is done we actually do want to soak up as much xp as possible right now take advantage of the fact that there's so many enemies on screen piercing uh yeah we probably want to go with piercing that'll be very helpful should notice a huge difference right now takes damage. Max ammo plus, fire rate plus, bullet speed. Bullet speed, automatically kill enemies below 20% HP. Hmm. Light bullets. Try to get some bounce. Five seconds. That's the shoot behind me one. Probably should do it. Speed would also be pretty good right now, but we're gonna go split fire here. We're pumping out the damage. We're killing these guys really quickly. Max HP plus, character size plus, movement speed minus. Give me it. I can handle it. Absolute tank now. Bullets bounce. They pierce and then they bounce. Now, I think. He's good. Recently 100% of the game, are you proud of me? Very nice. 100 percent as in it got every single character and every single weapon to max darkness. That would be impressive. Or you got one character and, and one weapon. The same one. How and why was it this combo? the boss there. Darkness 15, all weapons and characters. Wow. Increase reload rate by 5% for every enemy killed. That's pretty good resets on reloading so depending on how many enemies we kill before we reload we reload re faster considering that's the part that takes the longest it's good it's really good spark charged up every third lightning strike deals double damage and generates one ammo generating ammo is pretty good we want to Go longer between reloads. And we're, we're basically just steady right now without reloading ever. If we do have to reload, then it's going to go real quick. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. If we just get the standstill chance to not use ammo up, we might just be able to go forever. Of 
queen with 100 bits. Gotta go get ready for workout, Dad. Thanks for the awesome stream. Help him catch the next one. Have a great rest of the night. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Thanks for the bits. Reload rate plus. Increased bullet damage by 50% for one second after reloading. Nah. I might just go fan fire here to get one step closer to fuselage. Or fusillade. It'll most likely never proc. Upon reloading, we fire out 10 bullets in random directions. And even if it did proc, it, it wouldn't be that good. But, fusillade, please. Shatter. Enemies affected by freeze explode. Also, there's the siege one. 33% chance of not consuming ammo when standing still. I think our ammo is fine. We're going to go shatter first, at least. Be more meaningful for me. This really is infinite ammo. I mean, it's like every third shot uh, gives me an ammo, and we're basically shocking, like, three times per shot, so... At least. Siege. Go for it. Now, if I don't move, there's no way we're gonna run out of ammo. Shot by something. This is a tough boss. With all the ranged enemies they throw at you and then the bombs. <sighs> Knockback plus. Speed and damage. Dragon bond. We can just see what the dragon... Well, actually, probably haste. For being honest. Give me some more movement speed. So I can dodge better. Move speed plus, max HP minus. Bullet damage plus, bullet size plus, piercing plus, fire rate minus, max HP minus. And uh, summon damage, summon attack speed. Reload rate. I could handle the Tome of Summoning just so that my dragon could do more fire. Or movement speed plus. Let's try movement speed. Dragon Bond would be a huge DPS boost. Especially if I got the Tome of Summoning, but... I think most of our DPS is in our elemental anyways. We wouldn't notice that big of a difference. Summoning has no downside. I know. I know. But movement speed, being able to dodge. Summon, because you never reload. Honestly, I'd probably go with the Doma speed. But fine, because everyone's so set on it. Dragon is going off.
Last boss. Can you imagine an endless mode? Computer would just quit. Lightning strikes also inflict burn. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Mr. Watermelon. What's up, Jamie? Um. Automatically. 20% chance to automatically refill three of your ammo. We don't need it, but we're going to take it. Need to improve their chest music. It's not very dance worthy. Vampire Survivors does a lot of things. Very, very right. Here's your Dragon Bond chat. How much damage are our individual bullets doing now? Five? Eleven? I can't tell which numbers are which. Here, I guess Holy Shield regen. Let's just collect some XP, huh? There's my fusillade. Downhill Zeus skipped a sub to Jamie. Awesome stuff. This doubles the amount of bullets that we currently have, minus the one that comes out of our butt, which I think is kind of lame. If you're gonna double all the bullets that come out of me, there should be two firing up my my big behind. <sighs> Blazing speed, more fire. Let everybody uh, run by on fire. Two minutes left. Electro mastery, all lightning damage increased by 12. Lightning area of effect increased. So some AOE in that lightning. Overload when lightning strikes an enemy that is burning, create an explosion. Synergy. It's gonna be just about 100% explosion chance. This character's too good. So good, I could just take these trees out if I really wanted to. Yeah, there it goes. Wow, you're demolishing them. Yeah, this is a, a good build, good character, good weapon. The character weapon combo here, I just feel like it's hard to beat. Dual SMGs are so powerful. Bullet damage and move speed by 10% every 10 seconds. Reset when you get hit. Sure. Knockback plus. I don't even want knockback plus because I'm going to knock them off my screen. Poor tree. The tree is evil. The tree is evil. The tree hurts you. Chat said that the tree doesn't hurt you if you touch it. That's a lie. It totally hurts you. 
Zombies are a menace, just like Spider-Man. Boom, baby. Easy. Darkness 5, crushed. Something with community building. Oh, you're talking about the trees, Jamie. Thanks for watching on YouTube. I'll see you in the next one.